Yeah, um, I'll be going through the progress that we made since the um, the framework convention to biocontrol came into force in 2005. Um, since that time, there have been a number of evaluation studies. Uh, importantly, is that we've observed an aggregate decrease in smoking prevalence from about uh, 22, 23% to about 17% around the world. But there are differences across regions and across country income groups. Importantly, is that the policy package uh, summarized in what we call the Empower, that is monitoring tobacco use, um, offering help, uh, protecting, offering help to those who want to quit, protecting non-smokers from exposure to tobacco smoke, for example, smoke-free uh, um, areas and banning public smoking, uh, warning against the dangers of, smoke, of, of smoking or tobacco use, enforcing ad bans and of course raising taxes. Now all of these policies have been well tested and that's why they're summarized as the key measures. But there are differences in implementation and when you look across the world you'll find that lower middle income countries are less likely to have implemented these policies. Rich countries, high income countries, and middle income countries are more likely to implement those policies. However, what we're seeing as well is that there's a difference between implementing and enforcing them. So there are scores on policy implementation, but sometimes they do not necessarily correlate with decrease or changes in tobacco use. And so there are non policy measures such as how to the extent to which you're able to come back tobacco industry interference which has become quite a challenge also addressing issues of culture some uh, societies actually you know accept tobacco use as part of the culture and of course resource constraints both in training for policy and legislation and therefore there's need to advocate for capacity and global cooperation so at the end of the day, what is important to know, particularly for this um, community, cancer control community, is the fact that one of the biggest and effective ways to reduce tobacco use is increasing prices of tobacco, which helps particularly for poor people and therefore reduces inequality, uh, has not yet been implemented in many, many countries, and there's need to do that advocacy. And secondly, of course, to promote smoking cessation as part of cancer care. So we conclude that there's need for collaboration uh, between different um, stakeholders and ensuring that the whole of government respond uh, to tobacco control, particularly the framework, which is not just the Ministry of Health, as it currently is done, but is actually finance ministry and all other parts of government.